Hey there guys, this is Robin Hood and today I have a Napoleon Total War multiplayer battle for you guys. Uh, this is a 1v1 fought on the Galican Rhea map and or Galatian whatever, but uh, I'm playing as France here and this is going to be the first episode in a new series I'll be doing. And for those of you that watched my voting on the next campaign series, that is over. I will announce the winner soon. But basically, this is going to be a new series that basically uh, is going to focus on the older Total War games. And the name for it was actually, or pretty much the whole thing was a suggestion from one of my friends. So thank you to him. But, uh... After I posted that Empire Total War video and saw how much interest there is in the older game still, I decided to go ahead and start posting more, and it's basically going to be like a thing, kind of, it's probably going to be called Throwback Thursday, so every Thursday I will post a gameplay of an older Total War game. And, uh, this first time's obviously Napoleon, and the next time will be one of my choice, but after that... I'm going to find a way so that you guys can pick the next one. Maybe I'll say, hey, your next choice is Rome or Medieval. And don't don't take that. That's not I'll pick, but uh, like what they are. So that's not it yet. Probably will be. but And then subscribers get to vote what they want to see. So uh, that's how we'll do it. And then I'll provide the gameplay. But as you can see here, this map's dominated by this hill on the right. And usually uh, the enemy that deploys near it takes it pretty quickly and I forget my enemy's name but he is playing as Prussia we'll see his name as the end at the end but I'm gonna read his army real quick he's got five Prussian Fusle which are uh, skirmisher units and then he has got like six or so cav maybe five he's got a general he's got some foot guards musketeers some more musketeers some of his troops are hidden in the trees right now I uh, can't see anything else. Lancers, Crossier, Crossier, Lancers, and Lutzwalps, or however that's pronounced, Free Corps. So there they are. My army's pretty similar, just different, uh, basically, faction and names. I've got five skirmishers also, but mine's a mix of chasseurs and this 6th Regiment which is an elite skirmisher unit and then I believe yeah that's that's it and then I've got my cav I've got a Dutch guard lancer chasseurs as cheval a uh, lancer unit and a Polish guard lancer so they that there they are and then I've got like six or seven or I've got three Polish legion and a few Swiss foot four and then an old guard so I'm used to Empire where it's just line infantry, so this is a bit different. Uh, first time I've played this game in a while, but this is definitely my favorite over Empire for multiplayer wise. The only problem I find is tons of enemies quit when they start losing, and when they don't start losing, uh, or if they do lose and they don't quit, they have some crazy excuses for it. So yeah, that's that. I'm taking this hill. And the reason for doing this is to basically make it so that no one really gets the hill. Then I'm going to push down into this valley. And the battle we're going to meet somewhere down right in here along this roadway. So I will come back in a second when that happens. Because these battles tend to be rather long. But uh, please give your feedback. The way I'm going to have you guys do this. Uh, thumbs up the video if you would like me to do this throwback Thursday thing and thumbs down the video if you wouldn't that's how I'm gonna do the voting because it's easier than leaving comments because when I do that I can't reply to you guys comments or it takes away the comments that you thumbs up or thumbs down so that's just do it on the video and I certainly want to do this so hopefully you guys have an interest in it too but I will be back in a second when the battle starts Okay, so as you can see, my army is moving up on the left. What I'm doing here is taking my rifle cav and trying to coax his cav off this hill here. And it's going to somewhat work, although I my men don't fire fast enough, so they're going to take some losses. But uh, it gets his cav away. He's going to fall back. I'm going to bring up my cav here. I don't know why they're in that wor weird formation. but And then I'm going to take this cav unit and go ahead and try to lure them back down again. Now my opponent, one mistake he made, 
very spread out. I mean, he's got his rifles all through here, some cav out here, his infantry's too far back and stuff. And um, I want you to remember this, that his infantry's really far back. And yeah, you'll, you'll see why later. I get off a shot here, take out a few of his guys, and then my cav's gonna go in for the charge and do some damage to these enemy crossier. And I'm gonna take this opportunity here since his calves tied up to take my chasseur unit and charge his rifles here now notice that this here my army Our is moving up to inside. attack okay i want you to remember that my army is moving into attack as you can see get a nice shot there and it's gonna do quite a bit of damage to the enemy calf and then i'm gonna get his rifles so i'm running my army forward across the whole field here and I am no longer on the hill, except my general. So just, just remember that when the battle ends, you will see, or I will tell you why. But as you can see here, the combined fire power, power sorry, of my rifles and my line infantry is going to destroy these two units of musketeers. Uh, no competition. So these guys are like a bullet shield almost, and the combined accurate firepower of them and my Polish legions. And over here, he's going to move forward his men. And I was actually getting forward to move forward and engage over here, but he's going to walk forward and my men are going to start shooting. I'm going to move this unit into uh, the trees, or not the trees, the building here, and keep up the fire. And my old guard, I'm leaving in reserve over here because I know that he has way more infantry on my left and the right looks as if it'll be a pretty easy victory now remember he had a lot more cav than me so he is going to charge in and very easily defeat my cav actually but uh, he's gonna charge this square and that'll be the end of his cav he's also melee charging my fuselier and that's gonna be pretty much the end of them although since it's my elite unit they're gonna hold uh, for a while I don't even know if they actually truly route and then his musketeers will route so yeah victory on the right flank pretty early on still have one cav unit left and I'm gonna take it and charge my opponent's general as you can see here my units in the building are firing, but I only really have four men that can actually fire on this unit, so that was a bad move. I should have lined up just right here, would have had more firepower. But as you can see across the line, it's just a massive engagement here. Over on the right, it's a bit closer quarters. I'm moving up my unit of the Brave here. This is a, uh, here's my old guard, and here's another elite unit. That's the uh, 18th Regiment. And then I believe I'm going to uh, melee charge these guys. But then what's going to happen is his cab's going to charge and I'm going to put them into a square. That's why they're falling back, the contradictory orders. And there's the square. And I'm going to charge my old guard. And he's going to hit the square. It should have formed, but uh, I guess it still gives them the bonus, except for this guy that went flying. Although that was one of the people from the horse and those cavalry units are gonna die pretty quickly. Now all across the line here you can see the smoke just covering the battlefield as uh, this heavy gunfight goes on and there's kind of a from the field view. You can see all the nice light effects this game has as the muskets fire. Men dropping on both sides although as you can see on his his left flank, my right flank, I am basically cleaning up and starting to wrap around his flank here and yeah nice wheat field my men are gonna line up and start surrounding him sadly some of his units come back from routing and I don't see this right away but um, they they cause a bit of nuisance later here's all the wreckage from the cav battle and from the fight on the right which is now over so at this point his cav it broke through a little bit it's gonna route here pretty much there's nothing really left of it 12 men no big problem the only problem really is that it's stopping these men from firing and uh, over here I've got my old guard firing point-blank at this other foot guard 
of the Prussian army, and my old guard's gonna charge into melee when I see this, and although his men are 100 versus my 80, uh, his, his foot guards are gonna drop numbers really quickly, because yes, they're a guard unit, best infantry unit Prussia has, but compared to the old guard, while there's not much of a contest, old guard's, in my opinion, the best infantry unit in the game, and statistics-wise, it actually probably is. Some of the nice melee fighting going on. Once again, back above, you can see all of the firefighting going on. Just a nice overhead view of everything. Men are dying on both sides. Uh, right now, actually, his Prussian forces seem to have more men on the right, so he's definitely, he's got more men over here. And, uh, yeah, my, my ranks are thinning, but I've still got these skirmishers, which are a big part. Our men are running, and I've got a slight, slight rise. Not that much here. I pulled that unit out of the building, and I'm going to line them up as reinforcements for this right flank. On my left, I have got, or his left, I've got more men. And, uh, but these routing usi units are going to pro cause problems, and I need to line up to fight them. Now he's also got this full unit of foot guards back here, and he might have been able to won win this battle had he not left his army so spread out. So yeah, that's that's his major major problem in this battle. Once again, massive firefight going on here. His men are getting shot at from all angles, but skirmisher fire and line fire. And at this point, they're just going to start to rout. Over here, my old guard beat his foot guards. There's the wreckage from that. And we're going to move on and take on this musketeer unit. And there, there's that. Watch some of the combat. Just tons of stabbing going on. Nice animations, but overall, my old guard is very depleted but it is going to cut through pretty much everything it fights and that's why I love the old guard and so as you can see he's making another try on my right flank trying to make a comeback here I was really worried when I saw this foot guard coming in but thankfully right now I'm gonna bust open his center and here's an out of ammo unit that charged forward to finish it off and so basically now I have got this whole group of soldiers to come over and fight off these few. And because of that morale blow, his foot guards are going to go ahead and rout. And that, that is the end of the battle. And um, yeah, you can just see the wreckage all through here. All of his dead troops, my dead troops. I had slightly better positioning and... Um, a bold attack on the right cost me my cav, but it won me the battle because I was able to wrap up his superior center, and I've still got some nice forces left to finish off the battle. So last thing left is his general, and once that routes, it's over, and there it goes. Now the reason I was saying that I basically opened the engagement, which I did over here, as you can see there's the kills, but he said I was hill camping. Uh, so there's some of the crazy excuses. Really, over here, I don't know if you can see, but it's about even ground for most of the battle, except one little rise. I moved down off the hill. I made sure that no one had the hill. And I opened the battle on the right, and the only reason I couldn't march forward and open it fully on the left, which I still did open it over there, is because I was managing the right. And so this guy's saying that there's nothing to do with strategy and that it's all micro yes micro helps but there's just another excuse uh, if I have the best micro in the world that doesn't mean I can suicide charge the center and still win just blob up and charge the center definitely strategy um, pulling you know the way I managed the cav engagement with strategy wrapping up the left even positioning my old guard where I did with strategy that kind of stuff so you know, it's just what has happened to the community kind of makes me sad. But as you can see, my old guard did amazing there. 
And uh, yeah, first episode, Throwback Thursday. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope that I will be bringing more. So, see you guys next time, and subscribe. And that's all for today. See ya.